Okay, guys, well, they're here. Okay, so they're kind of hard to find here at this point, but as you can see, we have hundreds and hundreds of little tiny holes. You see these holes? This is where they're all coming out. A lot of them have been crawling up trees, and then I, I believe they grow their wings, and that's when the hissing sound begins. Let's see if we can find some. This is how you can tell they've emerged, though finding holes all over the place. Everywhere you look, there's just hundreds and hundreds of holes where they are coming up out of the ground to invade. Speaking of invasion, something a little creepy. Uh, I've been hearing that we're going to see a lot of zombie cicadas, which, let me be clear on that. Uh, you can look it up. A zombie cicada, it'll have like half of its back, like looks like it's eaten. And yet all the functions are still the same. They're still harmless, but I was reading a story off of uh, one of our local news stations up here that they were talking about. So one thing's for sure, they are coming. Uh, it was perfect weather for them yesterday. It was a nice rain, a, a drenching rain, and now it's shot up to 80 degrees the next day. That is the recipe that they need to start coming up out of the ground. We're going to start seeing hundreds, maybe thousands of them starting tomorrow or here in the next couple days. So we're going to keep an eye out for them. I hope to do a video a week. I'll try and do uh, something where I show them off a little bit. Uh, up here, it's in Cincinnati. It's supposed to get really crazy. We have the Brood X cicadas, which is the massive amounts of them. So once every 17 years, I, I hope to get some good film on them here. A uh, little creepy, but I'm going to do it for you guys. For those of you who don't know, cicadas are harmless. They will not bother you except landing on you, but they do not bite. There's no uh, kind of venom in them or anything like that. People have been asking me like, oh, why would you touch them? You know, they're dangerous. No, they're not dangerous. They're not dangerous at all. And uh, I was hoping I'd find one out here. We're going to move on a little bit, see if we can uh, find any on some trees. I did find a couple on a tree that were already hatched. So they had climbed up the tree and they, they hatched out of their protective skin. Apparently, I guess they grow their wings and then they just take off. So maybe we'll see some here soon. Okay, so up here on the oak tree, big oak tree here, you can see there is one of their shells. He is already unleashed from his shell. And he's around here somewhere, probably climbed further up the tree. It's the only one I've found on the tree so far. We'll keep looking. Okay, so I found one of the shells. There's an up close look. I know they look ugly, but they they don't bother you. They're friendly. But as you can see here, you see the little white stems there. He is completely hatched out of his little shell here, so I assume he's grown his wings. And he is off flying about. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of them on the leaves here. Uh, and there, there's a lot of leaves on this tree, so they pretty much go to where I guess they kind of get stuck to, and that's where they stay until they, until they spread their wings. I don't know why I'm searching so hard here in about a day or two. They're going to be all over the place. So uh, right now we're just kind of finding the shelves. I am finding shelves more on the leaves than I am the tree. So I don't know if, if your tree in your yard or something has uh, a lot of leaves or a vine growing up. But chances are they're probably uh, nesting there until they hatch. Really interesting. Really cool. You know, for an event that happens uh, once every 17 years, I, I think it's pretty fascinating. One thing you can count on for sure, Jessica will probably not be joining me on any of these cicada hunts. Uh, we'll be lucky if she leaves the house. I'm just kidding. She's not that scared of them. Uh, yeah, like I said, they don't bother you. They will probably land on you. I mean, there's going to be thousands of them. So if you're in the Cincinnati area, especially this weekend or for the next four to six weeks, they do last uh, anywhere between four to six weeks about a month of them they're going to start all dying off there won't be as many but uh once it once they're everywhere i'm definitely going to do some videos on that and, uh, you will know when they're out and about because you will hear that hissing sound that we're going to hear strong for the next month they make a really loud noise from them rubbing their legs together it's some kind of song that they play it's funny like they call it a song i guess because there's male and female and they 
uh, whichever female likes the song attracts the female to the male. Uh, we're going to try and capture a lot of the stuff for you. Uh, it should be really awesome. You know, having been through this 17 years ago, there's a couple things that I could tell you that you got to get. For one, make sure your air conditioner works because when you're driving around, you're going to want to have your windows up because they are going to be everywhere. They're going to be dropping like flies all over the place. They're going to be swarming in. They will get in your car. Um, just have your windows up or cracked or run your AC. Another thing is windshield washer fluid. This is something very important. You definitely want to get a couple things of windshield washer fluid because you're gonna be using it a lot, especially if you're on the highway. If you're on the highway, they just, they just splat onto your windshield. Now, I don't know if it really matters which kind of windshield washer fluid. I would get whichever's cheaper. You're gonna be using a lot of it. So yeah, I, I would get the cheaper one. They do make a kind that is made for bugs but it does tend to, to kind of make the windows stick after a long time. So I try to go with just the regular uh, windshield washer fluid. That seems to work the best. There are little things you can do to prepare. One thing, we are gonna be running our AC a lot more. If you're gonna have your windows open, you definitely wanna make sure you have screens. Uh, they're about that big. They get pretty big. They're, they're anywhere from an inch and a half, uh, an inch to an inch and a half. Some of them could get up to like I don't know, maybe that big, but uh, like I said, they'll be around for a little while, but only about a month. And and this only happens once every 17 years. So it's something really awesome to witness. I'm gonna get as many videos as I can to show you guys how it works and how everything is going on. They're not gonna be all over the country. Cincinnati's gonna have the worst of it. Uh, we're gonna have hundreds of thousands of them here, probably the next day or two. I know as soon as they started coming up out of the ground the last time, it was only a, you know, a matter of hours before you started seeing them all over the place. So we'll check in tomorrow. If I'm seeing a lot of them out here tomorrow, I may do another video for Friday. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give us a like. It really helps our channel out a lot. And you'll be able to get all the up-to-date news on all the cicadas and all our fun adventures. I know a lot of people are losing their minds over this. And, you know, it's fine. There's not much to worry about. You know, it's going to look crazy. It's going to look... It's going to look like the world's coming to an end, but I mean, <laughs> it's not. It's not. They're fine. They're, they're actually pretty cool looking. Look at it as free fishing bait, too. Uh, collect some of them, put them in a cup, go fishing. Use them for fishing. They're great. Uh, great for river fishing. You can catch some uh, uh, catfish love them, which is kind of surprising. But uh, catfish love them. Bass love them. Good river fishing. Doesn't look like we're going to see any today. I have searched the entire area here. Uh, we have seen a lot of shells, so... They're hatching. They are coming. I will keep my eye out. Uh, they'll probably start coming out tonight. If not tonight, probably tomorrow. Also, tomorrow night from 7 to about 8.30, we're going to have our live show uh, Friday night from 7 p.m. Eastern time to about 8.30. We're going to have our live show. We'll definitely be talking about this a little bit, and uh, hopefully I have some pictures to show. To me, this is pretty awesome. I, I think it's going to be fun. You know, it, it's, I know people are kind of, you know, hit or miss about it, but uh, no, I think it's going to be cool. Uh, stay in your house. Watch our videos. I'm going to be putting videos out on the cicadas. We'll see what we see. Should be a lot of fun. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.